Hey guys, I just want to show you how I have my uh, mini popper from Targets USA set up. Uh, this is the stuff that comes with it. So you use your carriage bolts to bolt together your, your two-piece uh, popper skin. Or if you have the one-piece skin, then you don't have to do that. But this setup is super stable and dependable. I have no and then I bought myself a three-foot-long 2x8 board. And uh, Jason is sending these, um, these wood anchor nuts along with it. All I did had to do was drill um, a 9 16 inch hole in both those places. Jason will actually be sending you a, a shorter bolt than I have here so it'll be flush fitting. Um, the popper will sit completely flat. Um, once you bolt your frame to your, your wood, all you need to do is insert the calibration bolt. Now, this, the calibration bolt is the long the long carriage bolt that you have here. And you have a split ring washer that goes on it like this. And that goes on the inside of the frame. You actually don't have to screw it in too much. Once you've got it screwed in flush, flush with the frame, the popper will actually be sitting pretty much vertical. It'll be really light. So a little bit past that, and you're pretty close to being calibrated for a rear falling popper. Okay, so I put the popper skin in. Here you can see that my popper is sitting just past vertical, just like this, and if I hit it, it'll go over. All right, just like that. So now, if you wanna set the popper up in its forward falling orientation, you gotta use one of your, uh, your long bolts. I like to use a smooth one with a hole at the end for the cotter pin. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna set it in this topmost hole right here I'm just going to thread it halfway through, and I'm going to take my forward falling activator right here, and I'm going to place it in this position because this, this hook here on the right is what is going to hold the popper in place. So you set this up here, and let's see if I can do this one-handed through the camera. Place the, the long bolt through there. Good. And then just run this through like that. And center this sucker up. Okay. Then you can take the cotter pin and stick it in the end here. All right, you're set for a forward falling popper. So what I've done now is I've put my popper skin into the, into the frame of the, of the popper base. And you can see that it lines up naturally with the hook, the activator hook or the release hook right there. Now the popper is oriented 180 degrees from its rear position. So I flipped it around backwards, basically because you want the carriage bolts here to be on the side where the bullets are coming from. So if this is in its rearward falling position, you can take the popper skin and flip it around the other way. But here in its forward falling orientation, you set it just like that. Now, it's really simple to set this. All you have to do is make sure this is lined up here. The popper goes into the hook. The hook goes into the popper hole. Right, and you step here, just like that, applying a little bit of pressure and release the popper and release your foot. Nice and simple. So now once you have it in its correct uh, orientation with the, the activator sitting through, the activator hook sitting through there, holding the popper up in place, you can see that the popper is at, an, is at a good angle hanging forward. It is super consistent and easy to activate. It will not fail on you if you hit it with a bullet. How consistent? How much force does it take? Well, here's a bolt in my hand. And there you go. And the last long bolt and nut that comes in this kit are for locking the popper in its forward falling position, but keeping it locked in place. So again, I set the popper, and then I can take this bolt, and stick it in right here in this bottom hole. Through there, just like that. Once that's in place, it keeps this, this popper activator from being to drop away. So now, I can shoot it all I want and the popper will not fall forward. And probably my favorite thing about this popper is how compact it is. It's easy to store, um, it sits flat on the ground, you can stack them up on top of each other. It fits in the back of my, my car quite easily. I don't have a truck. 
All I have is a Prius over there, and I can take this back and forth to the range, no problem. 